The Al-Aqsa compound transformed into a battleground. Just under the Dome of the Rock, Israeli police unleashed clouds of tear gas, deafening and blinding stun grenades. While some Palestinians made their way out, others advanced, throwing stones and bottles at officers, at times coming face to face with security forces. For several days now, the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Shejara has become the center of unrest. After the Ramadan fast ended each evening, protesters took to the streets in solidarity with Palestinian families who face evictions. It's here where Israeli settlers hope to expand their presence. On Friday, Palestinians decided to take their demonstration to the Al-Aqsa compound just after the last Friday prayers of this year's Ramadan. The militant group Hamas, that controls the Gaza Strip, called on protesters to stay at the site until the end of the holy month. I'm sure you have heard on the news, if you've been paying attention to current events, that there is major clashes in East Jerusalem. Now, if you did hear about this, I'm more than sure that the lame street media did not expand on why. Because all I could find is that it's Jerusalem Day in Israel, which is a holiday slash celebration for Israelis to celebrate their heritage, nationality. They call it Jerusalem Day. Now, coincidentally, is Ramadan. So you have... They're calling them settlers. Their origin is settlers. However, they're residents. They're Palestinians that live in East Jerusalem. Many of them are Muslim. Okay, so they went to the mosque to pray and they were met with heavy police force. So it made them angry. Okay, so you have the Israelis that can celebrate their holiday, but we can't celebrate our holiday, our religion, our faith, like the Israelis are doing as we speak, which is a very, very valid argument. On top of that, the Palestinians are being kicked off their land in East Jerusalem because that's the land that they have occupied since the late 40s, I believe 48, 1948. So their great grandparents lived there and they raised their family on that land. So now they're residents, but the courts in Israel was saying that you guys have no right to this land. You have to leave this land. So now there's protesting, there's fighting. You had, I believe a Palestinian ran over in a car. It was captured on video. I did not want to put that video in my video, but yeah, it is on and popping over there. Now I was hesitant to do the Russia versus NATO. I only did one video because I did not feel like that was going to go far enough. But I did say Russia is no joke and I still stand by that. But this issue here in Israel, I have to report on it because this can grow into a bigger, bigger issue in that region. Why do I say that? Because now you have reports coming out of the gaza palestine beirut israel headlines coming out of all of those countries and more that hamas is sending threats which hamas happens to be the biggest militia now 
I don't know if America has Hamas on a terrorist list, but let's just say they're on the terrorist list. They're the biggest terrorist over there, but they're not terrorists in my book. Okay. But Hamas is no joke. Okay. And if, if something isn't done about these Palestinians, many who are Muslim, I'm sure you have a percentage who, who's Christian and maybe, you know, something else. But overall, those are Palestinian people and they have been living there since the 40s, maybe longer than that, because that's not really uh, the Jews of today's land. So, I mean, no telling how long those Palestinians been there. I can't sit up here and believe that they were just settlers. Okay, what made them settlers? Who classified them as a settler? What if they have generations in that land? Oh, yeah. Police brutality is globally. It's not just a American issue, or should I say crisis. It is a worldwide crisis and is not going to get better anytime soon. Every country, damn near, they're protesting. The citizens are standing up to the government. You have China and Australia on brink of an actual war. I have to get on that. You have clashes in East Jerusalem. Listen. Let's not let's not act like we um we're not familiar with the hate crimes, the war crimes the state of Israel have committed on people they deem beneath them. The Palestinians, the Syrians, the Iranians, the Americans, they do this to everyone. But the UN came out and said, this is a potential humanitarian crisis. Where are these people going to go? So you're kicking thousands of people off their land, out of their homes. They have nowhere else to go. See, these police, they're useful to the government. They're useful to the people in power. That's why nothing will be done about all of this police brutality that is happening globally. It's not just in America. It's not just in America. This is why knowing global news, current events is a must. Is a must. Because in America, you would think that only a certain demographic, or should I say group of people were harassed, beat, killed by law enforcement. No, not just in America, it's happening in Israel also. And the American news cover for Israel, because Israel has America in their back pocket. So all the media, the American media, the lame street media has to do is just say Jerusalem Day in Israel, excuse me, Jerusalem. Yeah, Jerusalem Day in Jerusalem. And there's clashes. That's all they have to say. There's clashes. And if they don't tell you What's the clashes about? You would think that maybe people did not want the Jews to celebrate Jerusalem Day. No, it was the other way around. They celebrated their holiday. 
but they wanted the Palestinian Muslims not to celebrate their holiday. This is not only a attack on the Palestinian people, but a attack on Mohammed. Also, on top of all of that, it's a land grab. If you know anything about Israel, they will steal your land. Donald Trump, when he was in office, he gave parts of the Golan Heights to Israel. I did not agree with that. I've done videos on that. I said, why did you do that, Donald Trump? That's one of the reasons why I thought Donald Trump was going to come back in office because Donald Trump was kind of a uh, Israel butt scratcher. They even named a town or a settlement somewhere in Israel after Donald Trump. That's how much smooching Donald Trump did to Netanyahu and the state of Israel. So I just knew he was going to get a second term. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. But, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, land grab. That's what Israel do in the Middle East, in that region. They take up as much land as possible. And if you don't stop them, they'll keep going and going and going and going. Someone has to stop Israel. Okay? I just got a alert. Video shows rockets being fired towards Jerusalem from Gaza. So they're already firing rockets into Israel. See, this can spiral out of control very, very quick because, again, Israel is surrounded by their enemies. Israel is also surrounded by Muslim extremists. You trying to, I don't know what Israel is doing. You trying to stop the Muslims from worshiping during Ramadan. I, I mean, you trying to start World War Three? Y'all always messing with somebody. Leave people alone. World War Three could be started behind some Ramadan. It could be started behind. Muhammad, because Israel keep poking at these radical as Muslims. You have Hezbollah over there You have, in Beirut. You have Hamas in the Gaza. You are surrounded by ISIS because ISIS is in Syria. Okay. You have radical Muslims. You have jihads you have all of these different type of radical fighters uh uh religions and i mean name it it's over there and israel's pulling this shit because they've been trying to start a war they've been trying to start a war they haven't been able to shake up iran bad enough so now they're messing with the palestinians now you got rockets being fired into israel it's hotter than fish grease in that region i feel bad for the palestinian people because they suffered so much over there for so long real suffering imagine being I mean, you can't even compare their immigration situation or their land situation with Americans' immigration or land situation because the Indians aren't being thrown off their land as of right now 
like the Palestinians are being thrown off their land. I mean, being kicked out like this ain't your land. And they're coming with court documents saying, hey, these are court documents you need to get about this home. And they don't have anywhere to go. Nowhere to go. And when they do leave the house, they're being met by police and force. I would classify this not only as a humanitarian crisis, a war crime also. Now, Gaza is firing back. They're firing rockets. This may be the straw that broke the camel's back in that region, man. I'm trying to tell people. And Israel was over there stirring the pot. Every Listen, anything that happens in that region, you better... Better bet your bottom buck that Israel is somewhere in the mix. Either they got something to do with it or they got a hand in it. They know something about it. They could have stopped it, but they did it. Just knowing that region, they got their hand in the pot and everything over there. Okay, case in point, I brought up Damascus. The oldest city on earth. That's in Syria, if you don't know where Damascus is. For some odd reason. Now, it, it is a Christian stronghold. And I salute Assad for keeping Damascus safe. Safe of militants. Safe of ISIS. And safe of Muslim jihadists, extremists, that will try to go into that city and slaughter those Christians. Israel knows this. What are they doing? They're firing rockets into Damascus. For what? They're like the brat of the Middle East. Little redhead brat. You also have black Hebrew Israelites being kicked out. So I do believe this do have a lot to do with heritage. The the real owners, the rightful owners of that land, which are not the Jews you see there today, the majority of the population. Um, I would say this is ethnic cleansing also. All of the above. Because you have the black Hebrew Israelites there who move back there to their rightful homeland. You have the Palestinians that may, in fact, have heritage, lineage, some type of connection to that land. They may not be settlers. They were only labeled settlers because that's how they are. If you're not Jewish, you're a settler. And you talk about racism. You talk about the knockout game here in America. This gives me a new perspective on the knockout game in New York. It really does. I, You know, I kind of felt this way about the knockout game. I really didn't care too much, but my thing about the knockout game, not to get off on another subject, was it was the fact that we were doing it. It was like, let someone else do it. Why do we have to participate in it? It just you know, makes us look even worse because we're plastered all over the news. Like we're plastered all over the news today. So this isn't going to get better anytime soon. It is on and popping over there. I just hope the Palestinians, e even the Muslim Palestinians, You know, did, you know, I hope they can get their issues resolved. This, this is a jacked up situation. And they're being thrown out of their home and their land. And they can't even worship their own religion. But the Jews can have Jerusalem Day. That's straight discrimination. And the American media would not call it what 
it is. I'm out.